Aloha, and welcome back to another episode of Talk Story with House Majority. My name is Della Alvalotti, and I serve as the House Majority Leader for the 2021 Legislative Session. This week, we have an exciting episode focused entirely on arts. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a devastating impact on our state's creative economy and creative workers. Many in the art, music, theater, dance, photography, film, and design industries have suffered immense economic losses in terms of sales of goods and services, employment, and earnings. Yet, these communities and sectors have learned to pivot, adapt, and evolve. We have also seen how important art and culture has been to sustain us through these challenging times. Art has helped us to connect with others, even as we were isolated in our homes and forced to restrict our physical and social interactions. Before the pandemic, and even more so now, I think we all have a better understanding of, of how arts and culture is an extremely important part of our lives and communities. So for this episode, we visited sites that showcase digital performance and traditional art. Let's jump right into this episode with my first visit to the Hawaii State Art Museum, our neighborhood, our neighbor here at the state capitol in downtown Honolulu. The Hawaii State Art Museum is open. And in fact, our Museum Without Walls program is open too. So you can visit any of your state offices, the state, well not the state capitol, but libraries, schools, hospitals, airports. The art is all around us. Hi Sam is open and uh, we're open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So come visit and get some air conditioning. The best part, it's free of charge. Free of charge awesome. all the time. Yeah. Awesome. Aloha Kako. I'm at the State Foundation on Culture and Arts. And my name is Cedric Gates. I'm the state representative for District 44. I'm also the chairman for the Committee on Culture, Arts, and International Affairs. I'm here with Majority Leader Della Bellotti and Karen Ewald, uh, who is the director of the State Foundation on Culture and Arts. Pleasure to be here. Thank you, and I just want to welcome everybody to the Hawaii State Art Museum, um, an always free uh, space and museum in the heart of downtown Honolulu. What were some of the challenges during the COVID period? The, the challenges were pretty much like every museum. We had to reassess our safety protocols um, for the COVID guidelines, order some PPE to keep not only our staff but our visitors safe, and, um, and then the big challenge was how do we get out to the public our free programming in a virtual way. So it's, it's been a lot of um, a lot of finagling, a lot of learning on how to do um, virtual programming, and we've been doing it. We've been doing it consistently, but we're ready to reopen and have people come in person when it's safe. How are you folks getting our kids involved in, in art and? Uh, what are some of the exciting things coming out for the kids? Uh, our big program that we do every year is Art Bento, and that is a, a program, a field trip program, where we do have teaching artists go to um, elementary schools, uh, teach art, art to the kids, and then actually have them come visit the museum. Um, it has changed during this COVID time, but we are still pursuing and doing that. And then for the, the youth at home who are just wanting to, who are curious about art um, and their families, we have Hi Sam at Home programming as well, which is all always free. Okay. Yeah, and then we're hoping to, uh, we're planning to very soon reopen the museum to do Super Saturdays where the kids can come for free and enjoy art activities. That's exciting. And I guess during COVID, I know you guys had to adapt and was, going online an option is was that something you guys focused on yeah and our, uh, it was and we we did it fairly quickly um, we a lot of our platforms were on our social media accounts so our Hawaii State Art Museum Facebook Instagram those are the two main platforms that we were able to um, have higher teaching artists to teach at home art activities um, and also kind of follow the core curriculum standards as much as we could for people to access. And we got a lot of, um, we had a lot of interest. Yeah. And now we're trying to just move into in person. Got it. <laughs> when we can. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you for sharing some yeah. space with us. Thank you.
How's it going? Please uh, introduce yourself to our audience. Sure. Uh, my name is Kamakani Kunio. I'm a project manager for the Speed Foundation on Culture and the Arts. Thank you. And I see we have a piece from my hometown of Waianae. Could you describe a little bit about what this is? Yeah, sure. So this is a piece by um, Cyan Williams. She's a student at Waianae High School who primarily focuses in digital art. Uh, Waianae High School has a very strong uh, digital media program out there. Um, and we're really excited to see Cyan participate in the competition. This year, during her senior year, uh, she was actually awarded an American Visions nomination for uh, her work behind a mask. Mm really cool it does express a lot of things that you know these kids are are going through as of 2020 and 2021 and the mass says it all really proud of her and we're excited to see you know more from her in her college years and hopefully we'll get her work in the collection one day too awesome so this is another awesome piece of art uh, from Herb Kane and I see the background there's a nice Backdrops kind of looks like galaxies. Can you tell us a little bit sure. about what this is yeah. you're looking at? And absolutely. Herb Connie painted like photos, right? He's an illustrator, so the work he did, it's like, wow! And you might even see posters around, but these, the state owns the originals. There's 14 of them. And you'll notice that they're sailing north, mm -hmm. right? So the first half of the exhibit on display up there, all these will be rotating and passing through. And then the second half of the exhibit, they're gonna all go back the other way, mm. go back south, right? So that was curated, um, this exhibit was curated by um, Drew Broderick, Kaili Chan, and Kapulani Landgraf. And so they worked hard on understanding um, each of the, the stories about the works. And the piece behind it is the spectacular part of this by Hana Yoshihara. So she was actually on Hokulea on the way back from Tahiti. So when they stopped at the equator, she gathered water. There's a ceremony and, and mixed the water when she got back to Kona with acrylic and deep sea water from Kona. And so the, the picture here, it's a full cycle of what Herb Connie imagined when he painted these vessels, created Polynesian Voyaging Society, and then Hana Yoshihara then articulated that vision and, and became part of it by sailing, right? And then creating this work that she calls Kawai Nui. 